What's up guys, Tara here, and today I will be talking about products I've been using for the last couple months. I decided to do this instead of a normal favorites video, that way I can review everything I've been using and not just the stuff I absolutely love. So you get a better idea of what's in my routine and how I feel about the stuff that I've been using. So yeah, um, first I'm going to start off with a few nail polishes. The first one is Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the shade I Rush Luck. It looks like this. It's a very pretty green but it's not my favorite and it's probably just because green nails are not something I see very often unless they're like a mint green so like just a blunt dark green like this is kind of weird to me um, but I was actually wearing it in a beauty video recently and yeah so that is one thing <laughs> sorry for that I was putting it in a bag at my feet anyway next is another nail polish it is by China Glaze in the shade Ravishing Dolling. I love this because of the shade, but the formula is terrible. It's very thin, and I can't remember if it chipped on me the last couple times I wore it, but I wore this a few weeks ago, and it chipped on me instantly. Granted, my nails had been grown out, so maybe that's why it chipped, but it just seemed to chip very easily on me. So I will try this again, but... From what I recall, there's a reason I did not wear this very often. And I don't know if it was just the, um, just the thinness, thinness, whatever, of the polish or if it was chipping or something like that. The last two nail polishes are actually favorites, old favorites that I've repurchased both. Um, I'm pretty sure I've repurchased both. I know I've repurchased one already. Um, this is China Glazes. For Audrey, this is the Tiffany blue one. I love this. It's on my toes right now. I was wearing it at the beginning of the month. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I just, it is my baby. I love it so much. So absolutely suggest that. Um, and my last nail polish is the China Glaze Rich and Famous. This is a beautiful pink. I'm wearing it right now. And it is my favorite pink of all time. So just... If you need a perfect Barbie pink, get this. It's amazing. So, yes. Um, moving on to other products I have been using. I've got a lip gloss. This is the Be A Bombshell Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Hot Mess. And it just looks like this. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you, I guess. <laughs> um, it's like a red that's very very sheer so it's like a sheer it's a red that's very very sheer it's like a sheer red it, forgive me um it is right here at the bottom very pretty very shiny it's really nice the other two swatches are swatches of um these two lip products right here they are the NARS sort of birthday set you get at Sephora right now um in the shades uh, Cruella and Rikugan, Rikugan, something like that. Um, Cruella is the red, I'm actually wearing it right now, and Rikugan is the pink, and again, that's what these swatches look like. I put them in the most obnoxious place, I'm sorry, but that's what the swatches look like. It made a happy face. I'm gonna stop, I'm sorry. Um, continuing with lip products, these are lip products that will probably permanently be used in my collection as far as like stuff I always have in there along with my foundations as far as not something I'm going to swap out with other things like I would with everything else. Um, these are the lipsticks that I love to pieces. My favorite pink and my favorite red. This is Max Speed Dial. It's a cream sheen and it looks like this and let me just swatch for you. It is gorgeous. Favorite pink. Absolutely love it. Looks like this. Gorgeous. And the other one is the, I believe this is Elizabeth Arden in the shade Red Door Red. Beautiful packaging, by the way. And this is my favorite red because it's the only really bright red I have. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, those are my two favorites that I want to keep in my um, make it bag at all times. So yeah, I've got a primer 
that I like to use every day. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the one for blur and redness control, so it's the green tinted one. Really enjoy that. Um, this is what I wear every day as far as foundation goes or something like foundation. This is the Dream Fresh. This is also Maybelline um, BB, um, and I'm in the shade Medium Sheer Tint, and it's got SPF 30, so that's pretty awesome. Looks like this. I love using it every day, but the best foundation I've ever had is what I'm wearing right now. I only wear this when I'm filming or have special occasions, mainly because I have the other one to use up. Once I'm done with that one, I'm just going to use this probably because it always looks perfect. Um, this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. I'm in the shade um, 102 Soft Beige. Looks like this. It's absolutely amazing. Looks great on camera, great on pictures, just absolutely beautiful. Highly, highly suggest. Um, I've got two concealers that I use. One I don't use as... I have lost words. Um, one I don't use as often, but I did use it today. Um, the one I don't use as often is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade Light Medium. And the main reason I don't wear it is because it's too light. Look at this. Too light. Although I did use it to highlight on top of this, which is the... Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer, which I think is just, it doesn't have a shade listed, just Boo Boo Cover Up, but I love this, however, it's gotten to where it's a little too thick for me, so I think I need to get a new concealer, so I don't have to layer these, um, so yeah, I'm thinking I might try the NYX concealers, I may want to try a Benefit one though, so let me know in the comments what you think I should try. Should I try Benefit or should I try NYX? And if so, which one? Um, so, yeah. Um, I've got a translucent powder. This is the Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Smooth Criminal Powder. I'm not a big fan of translucent powders, um, but I do like them under my eyes to set concealer. So, that's why I have this. Also, it was in a glam bag and I figure this is... <laughs> This is powder. I might at some point need powder, um, but I don't use this all over my face, just under the eyes. Um, I have my eyelash curler, mirror, um, <laughs> lip balm. This is the Soft Lips Cube. This is a mint one. I like it. I like it so much that I have another one that's sitting right next to my computer, like right over there behind the camera. Um, so, yeah, I like this so much I have two of them <laughs> in the same flavor and everything. Um, next, I'm going to talk about, well, I'll just go ahead and mention I've got a pencil sharpener for all my pencil products. Um, this is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is a primer I like to use under eyeshadows, obviously. Although, I will not repurchase this because I've got other primers I can use. One in particular that I absolutely love. This is this one it is painterly by mac um the paint pot i absolutely love this it looks like this it's just a basic skin tone color can you see the dent i put in that i love this stuff way too much um i used it today um, and what i usually like to do with painterly is either use it as base under eyeshadows and it'll stick or i'll just use it on its own on my eye and then just do liner like i did today so Yes, absolutely love this. Um, so don't be surprised if that stays in my makeup bag. I've got two mascaras. I've got Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes. Really like this. And it looks... Ugh, if I can get it open. It's one looks like this. Kind of scary looking, but I do enjoy it. Um, really good for layering. Um, the other one is a sample of the Buxom Mascara. I don't know if there's a specific type that it's supposed to be, but looks like this. And I got it in like a 500 point thing from Sephora and the brushes like this. I really like to use this for the lower lash line, although I have used it on the upper lashes before and I really enjoy, that, enjoy it for the upper lashes. I just want to finish using my Tarte one first before I actually use it for the upper lashes actively. Um, I've got a CoverGirl eyeshadow in the shade mink and it looks like this 
it looks like total crap but it's actually very 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 gorgeous look at that look at that what I like to do is I'll sort of do like a smoky eye but instead of with black eyeliner I'll do it with brown eyeliner and I'll smudge it out and then I'll put this over it and onto the crease and then I'll like put on just a little bit more brown eyeliner and it's so gorgeous I love it it's like sort of a natural um, it's like sort of a natural smoky eye I guess is a way to put it um, I've got sort of a not sort of it is a blush and bronzer set it is the elf one and all it says is blushed and bronzed this I think was the original one this like now they have different shades this is like the original one I actually used both of these today as my blush and my bronzer it's the only bronzer I had in the kit and I decided to use the blush with it today too I've had this for years I've loved it for years it's really great um so yeah I have a NYX eyeshadow in the shade Sparkle White. I've actually been using this as a highlight. Um, looks like this. It's very, very, in my opinion, it's very, very shimmer. It's got a bunch of chunky glitter. It's very, very sparkly. Um, so I have to be very light-handed with this. The only reason I've been using it as a highlight is because, literally, I feel awful for not using it. <laughs> But I can think of no other reason to use it because I literally kind of hate it. <laughs> so, yeah. But one thing I don't hate from NYX. Nice transition, right, Tara? Oh, yeah, Tara. Nice transition. Why am I talking to myself? Um, <laughs> One thing I do love from NYX is the blush in the shade Espresso. Looks like this. It's almost, it's almost kind of like a bronzer. But it's got just enough peach in it. To not be a bronzer and it looks like this I absolutely love it it's gorgeous um, I've got swatches all over my fingers um, I absolutely love it it's gorgeous I can't say enough about it um, another product I love from NYX I'm not sure if you've noticed but I am a NYX girl I love NYX from the bottom of my heart um, this is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I'm in the shade number 3 Natural. And looks like this. It's absolutely amazing. It matches me perfectly. It always has. It is, it's a powder foundation instead of just a setting powder. So it's full coverage. Like, if I wanted to, I could wear it on its own. But, like, on top of, like, a foundation and then with setting spray it's like locked in um so i absolutely love that um going into pencil products i have <laughs> quite a few um i have a black eyeliner this is from lord and berry it's the black silk mini cajol cajol coal liner it's literally that tiny it came this small in a glam bag and i i've just been using it for whenever I decide to do a smoky eye. Um, I've got the NYX um, Slide On, Glide On, incredibly long name, eye pencil in the shade Brown Perfection. And it looks like that. I've got, from the same line, I've got the shade Sunrise Blue. Is that Sunrise? Yeah, that's Sunrise. Okay, Sunrise Blue looks like that right there, and it is really blue. Let me just, so you can see it better. That is, like, gorgeous. I plan on using that for my 4th of July video. Um, I've got this on today. It is the same line. It is the shade Pretty Violet, and it is not as vibrant in pigmentation as the others but it's perfect for the lower lash line and it's right there um, I've got the same one in the shade jet black which I have not used this month but I have used before and I absolutely love it so that's what that looks like I've got again the same shade seriously can you tell how much I love NYX products I've got the exact same shade in the, or I've got the exact same thing in the shade Gunmetal, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous sort of metallic gray color. 
and the reason I'm doing the swatches so large is because literally they're so creamy you can do it in one swipe. I'm doing the swatches so large so you can see them <laughs> because like just to give you an idea of how pigmented these are. Um, so yeah. That's all the eyeliners. I've got a highlighting brow pencil from Chella. It's the Ivory Lace Highlighter. And it looks like that. What I normally like to do is blend it out. And it'll look like that. And I like to use that um, on my brow bone after I'm done doing my brows. And speaking of brows, this is the brow pencil I'm currently using. This is the Sonia Kashuk. Um, brow definer in the shade taupe um, and it looks like I'm trying to get a decent swatch of this but I'm not left handed and I'm trying to swatch with my left hand this is not going to end well that's what it looks like um, so yeah I've got two more things I'd like to talk to you about before I start talking about just random favorites um, these things sort of go hand in hand, so they're sort of a favorite together. This is the Sigma Small Angle um, E65 brush. Looks like this. It's gorgeous. And I use it with the Tarte Clay Pot in the shade Blackened Plum, which looks like this. Together, these two make beautiful, beautiful eyeliner babies, and I love them so much. I have used them for my eye makeup today, and they're just amazing. So that is the makeup products. Now we move on to, eh, sorry guys. Um, now we move on to favorites and I've got my favorites written down. Um, one thing I've been really loving lately is the Simple My Selling, My sm bleh, Simple My Seller Cleansing Water. I love it for removing makeup. Absolutely suggest it if you have not tried it. Um, I've gone through like four or five bottles already. Amazing. Um, I also have been loving the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. Um, and for my random favorites, <laughs> I've been loving Taylor Swift's 1989 Deluxe Edition. I actually have tickets to her show in Atlanta. So exciting. Um, I've loved watching Switched at, Birth and Switched at Birth and Pretty Little Liars over the last couple months. I'm still working on Pretty Little Liars, but I'm caught up on Switched at Birth until like the season that is currently showing or like the season before that. Wherever Netflix cut off, that's where I'm caught up to. <laughs> um, I have been reading a book called The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. It's really good. It is a nonfiction novel. Er, novel? It's a nonfiction book, and it's basically sort of a book about how sort of epidemics, whether it be by word of mouth or just in general, how they get started. Um, so that's really interesting. I've had two candles that I've been burning. I had one that smelled like sugar cookies, which was really nice. And I'm currently, right now, watching the flame flicker on the other one, which is sort of a citrus candle. It's like a layered scent candle, and it's a citrus one, so it's really nice. Um, also, started gaming a little bit. I have the new 3DS XL. Absolutely love it. And I got Pokemon um, Alpha Sapphire with it, so... Yeah, that's, um, that's a good thing. Um, it's been really, really fun. Um, and YouTubers I've been enjoying to watch a lot recently are Beauty Addict 101 and Emmy Made in Japan. So, yeah, those are all my favorites and all the products I've been using lately. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.